black people sold black people, white people just paid for it. My great great grandmother was sold by her father to another black man who then sold her to who became her husband and had kids, not a white person in sight. Well, so while people are being stuck on, especially when I hear this dumbass thing as reparations for slavery, I'm like, dude, slavery was everywhere in the world. Yeah. There was slavery in the Arab world, in the Persian world, in the Greek world, in Europe. White, blonde, blue-eyed Polish people were slaves to Germans. So white, blonde, blue-eyed Germans. So what are you talking about? Like slavery is something that only black, you guys pay too much respect to racism. Yeah. If we were all white or we were all black, we're still going to discriminate against You know against what we discriminate other. against? Eye color. Thank you very <laughs> it's much. It's human nature. It's human nature. Yeah. We'll find something, oh, your ear is too big. I tell people, as long as you are competition, you're a threat. And as long as you're a threat, somebody will try to do something to remove you. It doesn't matter if you're white or black. And on the opposite side, as long as you can add value, doesn't matter if you're black or if you're white, you will be appreciated or recognized. Yo, so I'm back in here for another edition of your mother. And I wish these tethers, the immigrants, shut the fuck up. First of all, right, let me unpack all that monkey shit he was talking about. He was talking about his great great grandmother was a slave and was sold to her husband. That's inconsequential to us. What's your point, sir? Your your bloodline is despicable. That's all I know. Second of all, blue eyed blonde haired German uh, Slavic people being sold to Germans. Once again, what does that have to do with us? Why are we going around the world? We know slavery is worldwide and universal. Black people for the most part, never try to make it exclusive to just us. We know there's Libyan people that are enslaving West Africans right now. What the fuck has that got to do with us? And as far as him saying that, like, it's stupid for people to talk about reparations. Well, I would see, I would understand how that's possible, being as you're not eligible, you're not qualified to receive them. So once again, what does this have to do to, with you? I wish people from other countries, namely the diaspora, would shut the fuck up. You move here where we have running water and electricity. Just make your money. I don't even know why Africans feel the need to go on podcasts talking to white men about our shit or how we see slavery. And it's contextualized. I really hate when people like to think that we just talk about slavery like it's just an arbitrary topic. We just talking about it to be talking about it. No, it's contextualized. And the reason that we're talking about reparations is because the this administration seen fit for them to dole out two hundred and ten billion dollars to Ukraine for a war that we're not in. And I don't feel like my taxes need to be going towards that. So if you're going to start dishing out money, we're going to bring up uh, reparations. We did 30 years ago in the early 90s. And it's come back around. This time it's grown some legs and it's gotten some movement and that's what it is right it's a repairment of what was done and it doesn't matter that people didn't own slaves the u.s government sanctioned it and yeah for a time being it had to be it was a consensus even if you escaped from the south up in the north they would send you back to the south or if you went out west it was unwritten that there was slavery they just turned a blind eye so yeah and then the racism and discrimination and the Jim Crow's and shit leading up to modern day times, it's still happening. Not to mention black people getting shot like it's going out of style. And it's not the criminals they shooting, but the innocent black people or the unarmed black people. So, yeah, we want our bread so we can handle some business, insulate ourselves and make a barrier against white America that seems to just be so juvial when it comes to the racism. That's where we're at with it. And we don't need fucking people like you undermining the cause. Matter of fact, just mind your business. Once again, it always goes back to that. And we never said racism or we never said that slavery was exclusive to black people. And we don't kind of give a fuck that it happened to everybody around the world. We're here. We're talking about us and our plight. And this making this one of two comparison, right? If if it wasn't skin color, it'd be eye color. That's arbitrary as hell and it's hypothetical. We never, we'll never know because people don't discriminate off of eye color. So that's stupid to even mention. You're coming with what about isms and hypotheticals that don't exist. And once again, here at F your mother, I don't go off of hypotheticals. I go off of what we knew, do know, not what we think or what could happen. It didn't happen. And if my aunt had a fifth, she'd be my uncle, but she ain't. 
Or if we had a fifth, if if was a fifth, we all be drunk. But it isn't. So what the fuck are we talking about here? Mind your business. Get your money. Live peaceful. Stay out of our business. That's it. Don't worry about we why we even asking for reparations. Don't worry about it. And I know a lot of people gonna come with this stupidness like, oh, it'll tank the economy and I don't want my taxes going to uh, reparations. Let me just put it like this. The U.S. government, they print the money. The Federal Reserve isn't privatized. So what's the problem? I don't even know why they're collecting taxes from people at this point because they're just printing off money. They don't even need my tax money. So... If you're going to take taxes from me, print off money like it's going out of sale, you print me a check. How about that? And mind your business. In any event, I'm out. No one's